Because you know my passion is for fishing. It's turning for my uncle. But it wasn't really so much about fishing, or actually catching fish, but it's the quality time that you spend. And for those who don't fish, I mean, there's a lot of conversations that go on, right? We, we debate. I said, I never met a man who never went to school or college, but was a master mechanic. I said, I never met a man who didn't go to college for journalism, but was a sport analyst. I said, I never met a man who you know, didn't have any sons, but had seven nephews that he treated just like that. So when I put it all together, I'm really happy because Dr. Martin Luther King said, and I quote, the essence of a man is not where he stands in convenience and comfort, but rather where he stands in controversy and challenges. So when I think about the health challenges that my uncle went through, we carry them with grace. Yeah. That's right. From having a trach in his throat to the oxygen machines. And he never we never really complained. He just right. yeah. made it happen. Yeah. So when we discuss what true manhood is, it's just really taking the hand that you were dealt and deal with it. Right. Yeah. So when I think about you know, when we was away from college, he would always say, when are y'all coming home? When Hurricane Katrina, when are you coming home? What are you doing? Why y'all still down there? When are you coming home? And then when my uncle passed, I thought about it, you know, coming home, there are some benefits to coming home. One of the benefits is that Somebody is expecting your arrival. Yes, yes. And the other benefit is that home is where the resources are, where the people that love you. So while I'm, I'm, I'm hurt deeply, I speak for the seven nephews that we learned a lot. We learned how to survive. We learned how to work on cars. We learned how to stone each other back and forth, talk about each other. But more so, we love, I always said, I love you hits different when it's coming from a black man. Because he really never said I love you, but when he started saying it, it just, it just, it just felt different. But I've never been in a situation where I cry one minute and I laugh the next minute. But I just want to tell my mom, my granny, my aunties, be strong, remember the memories, my cousins, you know, we gotta do what we have to do. Yeah. But it brings me great joy to see that he's back in his, in his original form. Yeah. He doesn't have to push around his body with things anymore. But when I think about it, I just think of, of memories. Yeah. I'm truly gonna miss my uncle. And I called him at 2 30 in the morning, 4 30 in the morning. You know, nephew, what did you call me this early for? I don't hit the clock like this. But um, yeah, I just think of memories. And I'd ask that you pray for me, pray for my family as we navigate these waters. But one thing for sure, it gives us hope to know that he's no longer struggling. That's right. And for that, I can sleep at night knowing that he's, he's not struggling. There's no more medication. There's no more. He's back to his original form. Oh. I just ask you to pray for him. Thank you. And then at this time, we're calling for Sister Lakeisha Wallace. 
If not, we'll move on. Amen. Amen. I want you to clap your hands for the siblings of Brother Billy Rayfield. Amen. As they come, come on and clap your hands. Amen. Who well, I have the privilege of calling aunt. Amen. Amen. And while you're clapping, clap your hands for Brother Joanne.
And y'all got to know my brother. He will pray in maintenance of my designated spot. And he would call me up and say, come outside, I'm outside. And I come outside, he might just say, you see, I got my AC working in my truck. Being a good bit right. <laughs> and my brother was just a, a loving soul. You could call my brother up and say, I need to know some knowledge about tags, about sports, just whatever it was, even if he couldn't get to you, he could walk you through the whole process. Yes. 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 He would be greatly missed. It wasn't a day that I didn't go without thinking about him. And it still won't be a day they go by that I won't think about my brother. I love him. And he knew that, that I love him. He knew that he could call me. And he may not make it to the family function, but he gonna call and say, send me a plate. <laughs> and it was our job to make sure that that plate got there. And then he gonna call us up and say, it was good, it was good. Or he may call and say, man, that's my sister. Tell my sister, I say, send me a place. But I'm gonna miss him. I love him, I love him, I love him. Amen, well come on and clap your hands. We we'll God the praise. And then at this time, we'll have special remarks by Sister Lakeisha Wallace, and after which, Evangelist Louise Turner. apologize for my tardiness. Billy already knew I was gonna be late, so we're okay. He always used to talk about me being late. He, I'm probably gonna be late for my own funeral, y'all, so I'm okay. First of all, I give an honor to God. Uh, it's just an honor to be here today, to see my friend one last time. Uh, I'm Keisha. I'm a friend, but I'm really Billy's really sister. I'm the other sister from another mother. And I met Billy probably about 20 years ago through another friend. And uh, I always had this habit of buying raggedy car. And uh, she said, I got a good mechanic. Yeah, he can work on your car. And I said, girl, I can't. I, I, I ain't got time to be dealing with no shade tree mechanic working on my car. Blah, 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 blah. I told you that Billy Till came over. He fixed my car like in 30 minutes flat. And I said, well, sir, can I get your name? <laughs> Where you from? And from that point on, Billy and I, we became just more than friends. We became family. I met the twins. From there, I Billy met my grandmother. And I got a little upset because when I wasn't at my grandmother's house, Billy was. And I said to myself, hey. How you hanging out with my Gigi? And I don't know nothing about it. They came fishing buddies. Anything my grandmother need, Billy was there. He even became her, her uh, burglar's alarm system. Cause he said he would get in the car at night when he couldn't sleep. And he would just drive by just to make sure everything was okay. Billy was what I call a man. And we don't meet too many, meet too many men in life today. We need people who have agendas of their own. They want something from you. Uh, they're always asking for something or they think they're going to get something in return. But Billy, he wasn't like that. He was always giving. Like you say, you, if you had a car and it had a problem, it was fixed. And if it took Billy a week to fix your car, he was going to fix your car. You better not call nobody else. You better not tell him he couldn't do it because he was that type of a man that he started something, he was gonna fix it. He was the most reliable person that I knew. 
he was very dependent upon. And I started having children, and Billy became like a, a godfather figure to my kids. They became, they were playing football, and sometimes once Billy got the trach, and you know, he was a little short on oxygen, I wouldn't call him and let him know where the boys are playing. He would call me in so much rage, man, how, how you go, how you not call me? And I understand they probably, I said, well, Billy, you sick. He said, you let me make that determination. Now next time you better not do me like this. <laughs> and Lord, I just would laugh. But in my heart, since I found out Billy passed away, I have struggled so because you just don't meet people like this. You just don't meet good, dependable, reliable, honest, genuine human beings. And that's what Billy was to me. No matter what he needed, if you girls couldn't get it, if his mother couldn't get it, he knew he could call me too. And it was the vice versa. Whatever I needed, I knew Billy, he could call me. And, 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 and we would just start for each other. And I just want to say to the family, I cried every night you cried. I probably cry more than you have because I don't have a brother in my life. It's just me. I'm my own child. So when I met Billy and he became my, my family, he became my brother, that was something I didn't have. So I love you guys. I love you from the bottom of my heart. My family loves you. And anything you need from this point on, you're more than welcome. You give me a call if I can be of service. Be the way now. I might be a little late, but I'm coming. <laughs> Amen and thank you. Right, put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. 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 We come to celebrate God on today. Yeah. Over half of Billy. Amen. He's gone, but the Lord is here. Amen. Why don't you just lift your hands and tell the Lord thank you. Thank you. We serve such an awesome God on this morning, and we just come to give God some praise. Yes. Just look at somebody and say, God is good. God is good. Look at somebody else and say, God is good. God is good. He's not good sometimes, but God is Just need to tell the Lord thank you. Amen. I give honor to God on this day. Superintendent Gerald Johnson, to Ella Kevin Haynes, to any other clergy staff, and to family and friends. To the bereavement family on today, Missionary Willis, be encouraged. Annette, Aretha, Marie, all the nephews, nieces, aunties, cousins, be encouraged. Just look at somebody and say, we're going to get through this. Hallelujah. Oh, good God Almighty, we're going to get through this. And that's why, you know, this is a special time, but the Lord is with us, even in the midst of this. Even looking at Ella Kevin Hayne going forth, God is going to strengthen you to get through that. Looking at everyone sitting out there in the audience, God is going to bless us to get through this. But again, when I begin to think about Billy, you can call on Billy, Billy any time of day or night. But how many know that Billy was a night rider? That's what I call him. He was a night rider. I never will forget I was in the hospital a few years ago. And I was in ICU. You know, in ICU, too many people can't come in at all times of night. What about when I wake up at one in the morning? Who was sitting at the end of my, my bed? It was Billy. He stayed there all night long. And then my man ran back when my mom and dad was in the hospital. Billy wouldn't come normal hours and see nobody. His hour was all the way out for midnight. At midnight, and he'll call you the next day, Ella Johnson. And he would say, you know what? I stayed all night with Big Mom and Big Daddy. He made sure he put the announcement out. But that's how Billy Ray rolled. I mean, we would say, Billy Ray, he'll call you at 11 o'clock at night. Where you at? I'm at the wash chair. What are you doing? To us? He was a night rider. My God, you know what? I thought about him and I say, he's not, he's rolling in heaven. Good God Almighty. You can't tell me nothing because he's looking down on us today. And I thought about the other day. That's all when you would get with him, he would talk about Big Mama and Big Daddy. And I say, on oh, oh, April the 10th, guess what? 
the Lord say, I'm going to call you on home on Good Friday. Yeah. My God, and I want you to know when God called them home on Good Friday, earth stopped for a moment because when I got the news, honey, I couldn't think. I, I just lost all sense of direction. But all of a sudden, God gave me comfort. He said, but this is Good Friday. Woo! He said, I have not seen Ears have not heard. Neither has the end of the hearts of me the things that I have in store for my people that love him. When after God told me that I got some, some more energy, I got some relief, and I was able to get up and go over to Billy's house, amen, amen, to just comfort with the family. So I thought about, we're going to miss the night rider, but guess what we'll think about? When we see somebody running down the road, you know, driving slow, you're going to think about Billy. Amen. When you look over at a restaurant, you're going to think about Billy. Amen. When you look over at a fishing pole, a, a fishing hole, you're going to think about Billy. Amen. When, 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 when you look down, somebody come with a big smile on their face, who you going to think about? Billy. Oh, amen. That's what Billy, when you saw Billy coming, he had a big smile on his face. Amen. I don't care, uh, 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 Superintendent Johnson, how many times Billy Amen. You came into your presence. You never saw him friend. He always had a smile on his face. And we're going to miss that smile, but we know, amen, that the Lord got him in his arm. He is saved in his arm. And then I thought about this morning. I said, Billy Ray probably said, now, now Lord, who car can I work on in heaven? He's working on the cars in heaven on, the, on where the streets are paved with gold. And I thought about the different tools that he would use. He, he, he always had something, amen. I, I don't care what happened to your car, how old your car was, Billy could work on the car. Yes. Amen. And that would tell him I was working downtown in the bank. He would call me. And I wouldn't be at my desk. He'll leave a voicemail. He'll say, uh, call your favorite and every bag. I'm going like, well, which one? <laughs> so I knew the number. Mm -hmm. So I called back. I say, who, who number is this? Bishop Faber Nephew. You know who it is. And I said, well, I got a lot of them. He said, this is Billy, the one and only. <laughs> but I thank God, amen, that he was that type of person. He would keep you laughing. Yes, we're going to meet you, but in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. We're going to see Billy Ray again. So what we are saying today, good night, Billy Ray. But we will see you in the morning. Amen. You all be blessed. Amen. At this time, amen, we're going to press forward. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, let's go higher. I'm going to say it like you mean it. Let's go higher. Amen. At this time, we're calling for Sister Lakeisha. Amen. To come with a short, amen, sermonic solo. And immediately following, we'll ask you to stand and receive, amen, the Superintendent Gerald L. Johnson. Amen.
honor for this very moment, for this very time. Strengthen this family, Lord, as we have prayed. We yet pray that you give him strength, Lord, during this trying time. Thank you for the life of this our dear brother. Bless those that are here. Those that don't know you, Lord, let them come to know you. In the part of their sin. And Father, we will tell you thank you. Now, Lord, give us grace as we stand before these, your people. Yes, God. Give them comforting words from your scripture. And Father, we thank you for the strength, God, to be able to deliver what you would have us to deliver today. And it's in Jesus, it's matchless that we pray. But one shout, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. 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 Why don't you give God a great praise? God bless each of you. We appreciate God for Elder Hayes. Thank God for this great family. Mother Willis, we love you so much. We pray that God would continue to give you the strength. I have received my instructions. We're supposed to be out of this building at 1215. 1215. So after you view Brother Billy Ray's remains, because he's not here. He's gone to his new home. Well, I wish I had somebody ready that Bible. He's gone to his new home. Amen. So, uh, after you view, they want you to please exit out this door. Amen. And they want to allow the family some time as they come through out this back door back here. Amen. Please, they want you to do that. So, I've received my instructions. And we do want to appreciate God for this entire family. Amen. These siblings, amen, his sisters look all of them alike. Come on, somebody. These nephews, good to see you. All of them, Brother G, good to see you today. Praise God. And all of the saints and friends, the aunts, the cousins, uh, amen, the uncles, and all of those well-wishers certainly appreciate you. And even his new sister, praise God. His new sister, where she go? Sister Wallace, amen. God bless you. And she, I, I got to looking at her, I said, Lord, she kind of looked like a, a net. <laughs> and it's true, if you feed somebody long enough, you'll start, they'll start looking like you. Yeah. Amen. There's nothing I would say that will hurt Brother Billy Ray or that can help him. And we have all preached our eulogies as we live every day. We preach with our minds. Only use words if necessary. And so, Brother Billy Ray have already preached his eulogy. But I'm just here to encourage those of us that yet remain. Because somebody may have not made up their mind where they're going to spend eternity. There's either two places you can go, heaven or hell. And you won't miss both of them. To go to heaven, you have to be prepared. It is a prepared place for prepared people. But you don't have to do nothing to go to hell, just live. Yeah. And not believe and not confess Jesus Christ as Lord. Yes. But Billy won't me to tell everybody to meet him in heaven. All right, all right. Wish I had somebody. Amen. I know Brother Billy Ray loved the Lord. Yes, yes. He was a faithful, faithful young man. Yes, yes. And for, before the text takes me, I have a few moments. I just want to share just a few of those enlightening times with Brother Billy Ray. Remember one time he said, Pastor, I want all the brothers to meet me at Judy's Cafe. <laughs> Judy's Cafe is in the, on the town square of Palmer, Palmer, Texas. And everybody said, Judy's? He said, yep, meet me at Judy's Cafe. I'm buying breakfast for all the brothers. We went to Judy's and the pancakes taste like cigarette smoke. The syrup tastes like cigarette smoke. The water tastes like Y'all ain't with Pastor. And when we got out, we shared our cigarette. I mean, we shared with one another. But we enjoyed, like Son said, we enjoyed the fellowship. And Brother Billy Ray would often call me, Pastor, and we would just go over things. I'm at work and Billy Ray still talking. We talked about all of the stores that was on Lancaster Road back in the day, next to the Crest Theater. He said, he said, Pastor, I bet I can tell you one you don't remember. I said, I bet I do. He said, do you remember the name of the store that was right next to Crest Theater? I said, that was White's Auto. He said, Pastor, 
that was White's Auto before it was a furniture store. We went all the way down Lancaster Road from Corinth all the way down to the end. And Brother Billy Ray and I rehearsed that. I'll never forget one time I, I called Brother Billy Ray. I said, Brother Billy Ray, I got the part for my daughter's car, but I cannot, my hands are too big to get the part on. He said, that's all right, Pastor. Where is the car? I said, is that, is that her job? He said, I'll call her. He got the address. Billy Ray went to Sunday's job and fixed her car on the parking lot. Amen. He called me back about 45 minutes later and said, Pastor, it's done. I said, I'll meet you with your money. Right. I paid him. Come on, somebody. Amen. But I just want to make a public announcement before I get into the text. Some of y'all, he worked on your car and you didn't pay him. <laughs> I'm the collection agency. <laughs> give me the money. I'm going to give it to mama. I wish I had somebody. Don't you be looking around like ain't nobody talking to you. You know who you are. You stepping on them brakes today because of Billy Ray. You would have been going through a window somewhere, but Billy Ray showed up. We're going to miss him, y'all. And I never seen him complain. Not one time. Even though he was, he was taking his sickness he took it well, and he wore it well. But I want you to know that Brother Billy Ray was a great person to know. God bless you, family. Thank you all for lending him to us. As friends and as a brother, I'm going to miss Brother Billy Ray. We never got a chance to go fishing, but you can't, you can't imagine it because we always talked about fishing. We always talked about going. We never got a chance to go. But I want you to know that Brother Billy Ray loved each and every one of you. And I know he loved me because he said one day we'll get, before we got our phone, he said, Pastor, I want you to know something. He said, I love you, Pastor. All right. Amen. Amen. I said, Billy Ray, I love you too, man. Yeah. I love you. Amen. And I want you to know I took that to heart. Amen? Amen. Not many people tell the Pastor they love him. <laughs> but I appreciate it. In the Word of God, the book of 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter, beginning at the fifth verse, it said, But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I heard Billy Ray saying this, I fought a good fight. Yeah. I finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and to not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Yeah. I want to speak for the next few moments from the subject, the man who couldn't be stopped. Yeah. Right. The Apostle Paul, Jesus Christ, Billy Ray, all the synonymous. In this text today, but they were men that could not be stopped. Yeah. Amen. All right. Think about Billy Ray as he would carry his oxygen tank. Yes. Yes. He would have on his oxygen in church. The last time I saw him in service, he was smiling. The last time I saw him, he was yet giving God the glory. And I heard somebody else say that if, he said that his saying was, if God if, if, if God don't do it, it can't be done. Yes, he had faith in God. Yes, yes. But as Paul is ministering here, he tells us to watch in all things. Yes. Yes. If you're not watching today, I want you to know you have to be very careful. He wants us to endure afflictions. Brother Billy Ray endured afflictions. Yes. He went through suffering. He went through pain. But I, I come to tell you today that he's no longer suffering. Yeah. He's no longer in pain. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. No longer have to call your sister Nett, sister Marie, and tell you to go by the pharmacy and pick up my medicine. Yeah. Yeah. But he has that glorified body now. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's in that glorified body. He don't have to watch his sugar intake. He don't have to worry about how much he's drinking. I wish I had somebody. All right, all right. He don't have to worry about what he's eating. I'm like, I'm like a vanish turn. He's probably working on the chariots in heaven. Because he said, I got some sisters coming. I wish I had somebody. I got a mama that's coming. 
I got some nieces and nephews that's coming. I got to make sure that when they get here, I'm going to roll out the red carpet. But the man that wouldn't quit, he couldn't be stopped by anything that tried to come against him. And what we should learn from Brother Billy Ray's life is that we ought to always be faithful no matter what it looks like. I heard nephew, I heard son say, he said he dealt, he dealt with the hand that he was dealt, but he carried it well. That's, that's the thing about life and when you have Christ in your life is to go through life even though problems come our way. Yeah. Don't mean just because you're saved, full of the Holy Ghost, that you're not going to go through nothing. But the best thing about going through something with Jesus Christ is that he don't send you through alone. He gets in with you. Yeah. Come here, Hebrew boys. They couldn't be stopped. They were put in the fiery furnace, but not only did he put them in there, but Jesus got in there with them. I want you to know that mama, he's in this situation with you right now. He's standing right there and said, I got you. I'm comforting you. You're in my hands. I want you to know that the days are going to be better. Amen. On tomorrow is going to be better. But let me just close with these few scriptures. Galatians 6 and 9 says, let us not be weary. Yeah. Yes. And well doing. Yes. For a new season, yes. we shall reap yes. if we faint not. Fainting is not an option. If we was in Wade's shop, I'd tell you to look at your neighbor. Don't touch him, but just look at him. And just tell him, fainting is not an option. Second Corinthians 5 and 10, it says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in the body, according to that that had been done, whether it be good or whether it be bad. Payday is coming yes, sir. after a while. Yes, yes. Many of the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. Amen. Just just look at somebody, wave at them, say, it won't be this way always. It won't be this way always. It's going, it's going to get better. Wish I had somebody. It's going to get better. Hallelujah. We all shall wear a crown. Hallelujah. Revelations 2 and 10, and I got to give it up. It says, fear none of these things, those things which y'all shall suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful, brother Billy Ray. He's telling us, be thou faithful unto death. And Jesus says, and I, will give thee a crown of life. Amen. We all going to wear a crown. Amen. But it depends on how you live down here. Yeah. It's where you're going to spend yeah. eternity. Yeah. The man who couldn't be stopped. Jesus, Paul, Brother Billy Ray. He was a man that couldn't be stopped. He had to bring his oxygen tank with him to work on your car. But you drove away happy. Yeah. God used him for such a time as this. Can he use you to help somebody else while your heads are bowed, your eyes are closed? Father, here we are today. Needing your strength. I pray, God, if there's anyone here that don't know you in the part of their sin, that they would ask you to come into their hearts. Save them. Forgive them of their sins. Give them another chance. Cover us under the blood. And Father, thank you, Lord, for the life of this our dear brother. Strengthen this mother, these siblings, those that are left behind. Strengthen us, God, for the days ahead. And we shall give your name the praise. We shall give you the glory. And the honor shall be thine. In Jesus' name. instructions as you come by and view please go out that door back on the south side of this auditorium amen as we
we celebrate is our brother's life. Crying, oh heaven. heaven is crying, oh heaven. heaven is crying, oh heaven. Heaven is mine. Crying, oh heaven. Heaven is mine. Yes, I want to go to heaven. Heaven is mine. Yes, I want to go to heaven. Heaven is mine. Crying, oh heaven. Clap your hands. Crying, oh heaven. Heaven is mine. Crying, heaven, crying, heaven. Crying heaven, crying heaven. I'm crying, oh heaven. Crying, oh heaven. Crying, oh heaven. Crying, oh heaven. Yes, I want to go to heaven. Yes, I want to go to heaven. I'm crying, oh heaven. 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 Heaven is a righteous place. Heaven is a righteous place. Heaven is a holy place. Heaven is a holy place. I'm crying, oh heaven. Crying, oh heaven. Crying, heaven, crying, heaven. Crying, heaven, crying, heaven. Crying, oh.